Okay, so recording has started. So, so we just finished off uh, looking at the uh, the how to locate the shear stress on moving from the element to mole circle. Let's let's do another let's do another uh, another time. Okay. Let's look on the one on the right hand side. Okay, let's let's look at the one on right hand side. Okay, I'll, I'll try to move this so that you can. Okay, so now again we do for the negative shear. We do the negative shear. So this is our normal stress, right? So this is our normal stress. Then we can see that this is our uh oh it crashed again. Sorry guys. What a weird software. Okay, don't worry, you guys are gonna see something again. It crashed and it came back. Okay. There you go. You guys can still see it. Now shift it over a bit. You can, you can see you can compare the two. Right. So next, I'm going to draw the shear line on the shear axis. All right. So the shear stress, element rotate clockwise on top, element rotate anti-clockwise below. Okay. So let's say the, the, the shear magnitude is this much. Okay. So this line over here is, as I said, shear x, y is equal to shear y, x. And it's also always a fact, okay? The shear in x, y direction is always equal to the shear in the y, x direction. Okay? So now, by looking at the, the element for negative shear, right? So us to focus on on so wait let me draw so this is our point x our point y okay so now we want to focus on our point x okay so if the origin we we, we fix our origin at center and the element could rotate this force over here or this stress over here will tend to generate a uh, element rotation in this in this rotation yes or no if we fix the origin so you you put your put your put your finger here okay imagine the the element can rotate so when that's the case your element is going clockwise and or anti-clockwise anyone relative to the origin is going to do what clockwise so your point x is here right and then the other one you put your finger next. We're going. We're going to look at uh, the other point. So we're going to look at uh, y now. All right. You look at this arrow acting on your uh, intersecting plane. Y is going to rotate in this direction and that direction relative to the origin. Where you put a finger to the center is going to go anticlockwise. So this is your y. Okay. So from here. You can construct your mole circle. <coughs> and this is your stress one. And this is your stress two. So what we learn over here, right? Has the the the, the orientation, right? What 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 we learn over uh this mess up again. The orientation, right? The orientation of the of 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 the uh of the of the point on the mole circle has nothing to do with positive or negative shear. Okay. It is all dependent on the rotation on the element. Right? You have, you have seen that, right? As based on what we are now. So the, the, the position or the point or the position. Right? Oh, you can't see. Sorry, my bad. I'm writing somewhere below. Right, the position 
of the shear location on most circle is based on the rotation of the element right you've seen that and have no relationship right have no relationship with either positive or negative shear. Okay, so it's all based on what? Rotation of the what? Oh, 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 do it. It's all based on the rotation of the what? Of the element, right? It's all based on the or uh, rotation of the element. So what do I mean by rotation? So this is what we mean by rotation of the element, right? Whether is it uh, clockwise or what? Or anti-clockwise rotation of the what? Element, okay? Got nothing to do with whether is it positive shear or negative shear. And for carbon fiber, this is very critical, okay? You, you Once you get it wrong, yeah, you're in a big duda. Okay, yeah, you're in a big, big do that. So what I'm going to do next, we are going to do an example. So now, the example that we're going to do, right, the example that we will be doing is we're going to combine normal stress and shearing stress. Okay, so this is an example. Yeah, I'll let you guys finish copying first, yeah? Okay. Okay, so for this example that we're going to do, let me make the page bigger. Then you can you guys can see better. Right, so this example one, the objective is is to do what? Okay, so what I want to show you is this: we want to relate the stresses. from element to mole circle and okay so we are heading towards that one direction element to mole circle you guys have done that already okay you guys are really really very familiar with that already okay but the next one we're going to do n from mole circle To element. Okay, we're going to do this. So we are, we are, we are. So we are going to do two ways. Okay, so let's start by constructing the the element first. Okay, let's start. So we have our transformation. Right. So this is our x. This is our Y. And then now we are going to combine both normal stress and shear stresses. Okay. So this is our element. So on our X direction, we have compression going by 60 megapascal. And then we have a positive shear, 30 megapascal. And then we have tension the y. This is 90 megapascal. Okay, so we have all this. So what we're going to do here on this question is we're going to find 
Okay, we're going to find the principal stresses. Okay, we're going to find the principal plane. Then we're going to find the maximum. Okay, in plane. Uh, shear stress. And we're going to find the orientation. Okay, orientation of the element we're going to draw okay orientation of the element okay uh of the element where shear stress a hey, uh, i can't spell again where shear stress is equal to zero. Okay, that's what we are trying to do down here. Okay, so I'm going to copy this triangle or this element. Uh, hold on, sorry. I'm going to copy if it allows me to copy. And I'm going to paste. Okay, here, let me do that. Okay, so what we are going to do now is we are going to uh, construct more circle. As you can see now, we had we now have what normal stress and shearing stress. Okay, so we are going to find out about the principal stress, principal plane, maximum implant shear stress, orientation of the of the uh, of of the element at zero shearing stress. Okay, so I'm going to Make this small so you can see better. So whenever we have an element, right? The first thing we do, as usual, we're going to label this as uh, we're going to label this as x, and we're going to label this as y. Okay, and then we are going to construct our Mole circle. Okay, so now this one is is is, is a is a combined normal stress and shearing stress is by no means uh, more difficult. Okay, so we are going to draw and uh, we're going to draw our axis first. So we're going to draw our x axis. So we have uh, minus. Wait, let me see enough space. Yeah, we have minus eighty, minus sixty. Minus 40, 20, 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And then, yeah, I think 100 is enough. Uh, why is it enough? Because I've drawn the circle before. If not, you, you it's just by going try and error, okay? So this is our normal stress. Then on the Y is our shearing stress. Yeah, Y is our shearing stress. So there is our Y axis, shearing stress, element rotation is clockwise at the top. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Then we have below minus 20, minus 40, minus 60, and then finally minus 80. Okay. So the first thing we do, okay, so uh, first thing you 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 realize is the the you have to make sure that the axis interval you use for the x and y has to be the same okay 
if your X and Y inter 